Good morning. Out here at a, a trail we like to come to occasionally. It's very steep here. See if I can slowly pan around this way. You can see it just goes uh, not quite vertical but pretty steep. But if you're hearing a lot of the water noise I'll show you the reason why here. This is a rough trail so you have to bear with me. But uh, Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 24 that there would be wars and rumors of wars. And um, we just saw here yesterday um, that uh, Zelensky and Biden, I guess it wasn't yesterday, but I saw the video yesterday, that Zelensky and Biden signed a some kind of deal or something like this. Ten years of war. And... Uh, we're going to come out with a better, more detailed video here about this issue. But, um, climb over a log here. Uh, go up this way. It's kind of an interesting thing because you have, um, people are saying about how that Russia can't possibly beat America because, uh, America is so much stronger and whatever else. And yet, over here's the river. Um, if you compare Russia, what they're doing in Ukraine, to what America did in Afghanistan, there's no comparison. And uh, I don't have all the statistics worked out, but uh, something like, I think 70,000 Afghani rebels were killed by the American troops Whoa. in 20 years. 20 years we were there in Afghanistan. And what did we do? We left left all that military hardware over there and everything else. And uh, the real problem with that is that wasn't the decision of the soldiers. That was the decision of the bankers. And when I speak against the American military, please understand me, I'm not speaking against the soldiers. Uh, I am speaking against the bankers. The men that are behind the whole thing. So I have to go up over this way. So I'll show you what I have here. Um, just slowly spin around here. I can try to get over these rocks here, these big rocks, and go that way. Or I can go up this way. Or around there. Like that. So I choose the higher ground. It's always good to choose the higher ground. <laughs> but, um... Hopefully I won't drop the camera here. So yeah, uh, 10 years of war to look forward to, unless another president comes along and says no. Now we have another log. This one, have to, can't climb over that one. I have to duck under this one here. These are the good trails, you know. Not the wimpy ones that are all groomed. But, um, what's it going to do to the economy? Wartime spending is not a good thing. Uh, puts a nation very much in debt. And America has conducted so many wars of aggression in the 20th century that, um, we've destroyed our nation economically because of our constant meddling in other people's affairs. That's a problem. Let me show you the waterfall here quick. Come out this way. Oh, somebody dropped their wallet off to check that out. Nice waterfall behind me. So, look down here somebody's wallet. I'll have to see if there's ID in it and I can send it to them. And a pair of sunglasses. So, go up this way here. But anyhow, um, now I have this really steep hill to go up, right there. So, 
This will be an interesting walk and talk. I have a rope here, but this can help me, I guess. You know, I'm going to have to put these things in my pocket here. Um, and about those sunglasses. Don't exactly want to wear somebody else's sunglasses, but I'll put them in my pocket. All right, here we go, up the hill. Oh. Thankfully they have this rope here that I can grab onto. This makes it more challenging when there isn't a rope. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll go this way. Hopefully you can enjoy some scenery here while I'm struggling up the hill. <laughs> but still. Oh. The situation with the war, I think we're going to see some pretty crazy stuff happening. Because America just will not stop. Or rather, I should say, the bankers, they won't stop until we have all-out war with Russia. And um, that's not a war that's going to, be going to be good for anybody. But... If you've seen my sermon on uh, God's five instruments of death, because the Bible talks about that in Psalm 7. Uh, you know what, I'll go this way. Ooh. What's that next step? Pretty steep drop off. But one of God's instruments of death that he uses to punish a nation and wicked people is the sword. War, in other words. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> and America, right now, is very ripe for judgment. Um, there should be certain things that concern you. Even if you're military, active duty, whatever. We don't have factories anymore. We once did. It's going to be really loud up here because of the waterfall. See how it drops off down there? I'll come this way so you can see like this. Really neat. Walk over here. Off pretty good there, doesn't it? Pretty neat. But uh, as I was saying, if you're military, uh, ex-military, current active duty, whatever, you have to remember that uh, there's no point in going into battle if you can't win. Uh, the key factor to war is uh, morale. I don't care how well armed you are, if you have low morale, if the troops just aren't for the war, you're not going to win. Period. Just the way that it is. And unfortunately, American military morale is pretty low right now. Especially because you have... Uh, any red-blooded man out there. Um, anyone out there that's a red-blooded male uh, doesn't want to go into the military right now because of all the uh, pervert stuff that's going on. And uh, so you have low morale there. You go you know, into the military now as a guy, chances are you're going to have some woman screaming at you. What kind of a real man would want that? Uh, real men don't like women screaming at them. 
And um, so, just give me one minute here. Are you two ready to go? You want to head out? Huh? No. I mean. So, um, <clears throat> just kind of backing up here. They don't want to be on camera this morning, so uh, I can continue to talk here, but that's a beautiful trail, very steep. As you can see here behind me, it goes way down there. Now they're running. <laughs> I'm not going to run right now. Not that I can't, it's just that I don't want to make the camera real shaky. But um, anyhow, uh, again, please understand, um, when a preacher preaches and says things that seem to be offensive, um, I'm not saying it to make people mad, I'm not saying it to spread, you know, hate. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make you think. Um, I'm actually a very nice guy, and if you meet me and you're an atheist or whatever, you'd meet me in person, you'd find that. You'd say, yeah, Brian Dunlinger, he's not a, he's not a hate preacher. And anybody calls him that, that's just a lie. It's slander. I'm not a hate preacher. I hate sin. I hate evil. But I'm trying to get people to think, and that's what we need. When people stop thinking, uh, the tyrants take over. And then you have bad things and people die in large numbers. And uh, we need to have these conversations. And we need to say, hey, you know what? Um, 10 years of war, what's that going to do to our economy? That's not good. Uh, we don't have the industry that we once did. My son and I were watching a thing yesterday. He has a lunch break that he'll do. and from his work that he does. And uh, yeah, he does work actually. He's really getting into reading and he was helping me yesterday with um, working on one of our trail cameras, deleting the pictures and things. And uh, so for his break, he came in and there was a video by the Tank Museum over there in the UK. And they had this video and they were talking about the um, German tanks versus the American tanks. The Sherman versus the um, Panzer IV, I think it was. And the Tiger was kind of the next level tank, but most of the German, you know, Panzer Corps had um, these Panzer IV or Panther IVs or whatever they were. And they were just talking about how the, the Americans were able to mass produce these tanks in their factories. And that they were, you know, the motors were actually pretty good and but they had armor issues and they would redo the armor and they would bring out new plates of armor. You know, all this, you know, just getting shot through really badly. And so we'll do another thing and, you know, uh, more armor, more of this, better guns, better, you know. That was America in World War II. How are we going to do that today in World War III? It's not going to work. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Oh, yeah, we're going to go to war with China. As long as China agrees to make our weapons, I guess. <laughs> you know, pretty bad. I saw a thing yesterday, didn't get a chance to look into it, but saw something about that China is going to limit the uh, import of gunpowder um, to America. Now, that's a problem. Uh, you know, we have a BRICS nation making our gunpowder, if that's true. I didn't, like I said, can't verify it. If some of you know about it, Write the, uh, put it in the comments section. You can put the title of the article or whatever else. Don't put a link because it'll probably get flagged as spam or something else, you know. Uh, I don't get to see a lot of that stuff. Just goes right to a spam folder and I don't even know about it. I have quite a few videos. I can't go through the comments on each one every day. Not really possible. But if that's true, that China makes our gunpowder, uh, yeah, um, the confusion of globalism. This is why in the book of Genesis, uh, the Lord 
saw that the men down there, they were coming together and they were saying, let's build us a tower. We don't want to be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. We want to be just one race, one people, one language. And you see that today. Hmm. And God said, let's go down and confound their language. Why? Because separation uh, is a good thing. You get integration, it's a bad thing. You get a bunch of people that integrate, all come together, let's all, you know, just have the melting pot here or whatever. That's a bad thing. You know, oh no, we can, let's just, uh, let's, uh, you know, imagine a world with no more wars. You know, it's easy if you try, you know, this stupid Beatles song or whatever. Uh, it's all about going back to what originally happened. The very first attempt at world government failed miserably because God wouldn't let it happen. Um, can man get to the point where man, quote unquote, doesn't need God? Sure, in the mind of man, but what would happen is it would be intense suffering. You see, if you follow biblical segregation, bounds of their habitation, there's a lot of laws you wouldn't have to pass. Uh, you wouldn't have hate crime laws because the people are all the same. There's a thought. And, um, you know, you teach people that nations are a good thing. You don't open your borders to let uh, foreign invasive species in, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and um, the people are happy for where they live and they eat the right kind of foods for their area. Um, they eat their pure native diet and they stay healthy that way. And they get along and they say, you know what, let's marry, let's have children. Let's increase the strength of our nation. God designed it right. Man comes out and says, uh, who says? Who says we can't do this? And who says we can't do that? And who says we should do it this way? And who says we should do it that way? See, taking the Bible out of the schools, I think it was 1963, um, it was a lot more than just removing the Bible from the school. It was removing the Bible from the consciousness of the American people. And now most people don't even know what the Bible teaches or taught. They just say it's a book of hate. And they don't even know. I'll turn... In the Bible, where does it say this? And where does it say that? Well, the Bible says, judge not lest ye be judged. Where? That's a fun thing to do. You know, you get these people and they'll say these things. Well, the Bible contradicts. You say, okay, chap book, chapter, and verse, please. Answer the full according to their folly, in other words. Um, that's what you do. And, uh, well, I'm not really sure exactly the exact location, but I know it does. I know it does. You know, I saw some guy in the comment section the other day. The King James Bible literally has an error on every single page. Every page, the King James Bible has errors. Really? <laughs> uh, Alexandrian, perverted, James White type of scholars, devils like that, they wouldn't even make a kind of radical statement like that. It doesn't have an error on every page. That's nonsense. To get around this swampy area here. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just have to go this way or something. Some swamp here, if you can see that. So, there's some things over, yeah, okay, it's not too bad. But, um, you know, uh, that's what happens when people start to celebrate ignorance. And they say, let's all come together and everything else. It's a problem. Um, and again, just to make this very clear, why do I do these videos, these walk and talks? Well, I want people to, I want to encourage you to follow what I'm doing. Go take walks in nature. Get up early in the morning. Let me, I'm not even sure what time it is right now. Yeah, it's a quarter till seven. As you can see there, hopefully. 6.44 actually, if you want to be precise. It won't focus on it, but there it is. 6.44.
and uh, we're out here having a good morning and um, get out in nature, walk around, but also uh, these aren't my doctrinal studies. Uh, I am a preacher and I've preached in church buildings for years, went to church buildings for years, then was challenged. Uh, where are church buildings at in the New Testament? Where did God ever tell a Christian to build a church building? Hmm, he didn't. Interesting. Huh. Then what am I doing? How can I come down on Catholics for adding to the scriptures when I myself am adding to the scriptures with church buildings? Hmm, that's kind of an interesting issue, isn't it? There's my Jeep there. My Cherokee. For those who follow the ministry and watch our videos, I'm still not sure what to do there. It's running okay right now. The uh, had a brother in the Lord that said about you know you, when you get these fuel pumps, you know they they have them in the gas tank and they have to stay cool by the gas that's in there. Not a real smart design, but whatever. Having an external fuel pump that would be cooled by the air might actually be a better idea. Be easier to fix instead of having to take the whole gas tank down but auto manufacturers you know what can you do but uh you know not sure if we're going to keep it or whatever it's running good as long as you keep it above quarter tank i used to let it run down you know pretty low you come back into the wilderness areas you want to just drive around a lot um has a pretty little flower here i'll see if i can show this kind of neat Almost like a wild rhododendron, I guess. But, uh, but get out, do some hiking. And uh, if you can, I know that there are some of my viewers that are older and it doesn't work so good anymore to hike, but um, just, I like to have a change of scenery. And, um, you know, I had another commenter and they said that, uh, you know, you might want to stop wandering around aimlessly in the woods or something like that. You know, people think you're crazy. People think I'm crazy if I stand in front of my bookshelf. People think I'm crazy if I'm, you know, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. People think I'm crazy. I'm not worried about people thinking I'm crazy. Not at all. And if I was wandering around aimlessly in the woods, that would mean I was lost. I don't wander around aimlessly. Okay. Uh, I know exactly where I'm going most times unless it's a brand new area, but I was on the property when that comment was made so I know my property pretty good um, Something that the Lord blessed me with early on and I've heard a lot of the old-time um, Hunting and fishing guides here in northern Maine that they would have this ability that they could navigate without a compass and I've always had that strange ability where I just kind of can know where I'm going and in my brain it just kind of works out. I'm terrible with road names, always have been, but for some odd reason uh, I can navigate. I know where I'm going and whatever else without having to look and see where the moss is out on the trees or something or you know whatever. Um, so, uh, but getting back to the subject here, um, I make these videos because it's better than me just standing in a, in a studio or something or whatever else. Um, low cost, obviously. Kill two birds with one stone. Family gets a good hike in. I get to do a video. You get to see the beautiful nature here of Northern Maine. It's early enough and cold enough. Probably been seeing my breath a little bit. It was actually 45 degrees last night, uh, overnight. It's supposed to be 98 degrees, I think in a, you know three days or something terrible i hate high temperatures like that but um it's nice and cool like this in the morning and the bugs don't come out and uh so that's always nice always something you want to take advantage of when you live in the north because the north is very buggy if you didn't know that uh you go to alaska or northern parts of europe and things you'll get a lot of bugs um but i wouldn't trade it for anything uh, cold winters and buggy summers <laughs> that's the way it is but um so we have lots of war 
to look forward to, just like Jesus Christ warned about. Wars and rumors of wars. Um, if you've been prejudiced towards the Bible because you think that, you know, you've heard some nasty things about the Bible and whatever, and you just stumbled across this video, uh, get a King James Bible. Don't mess with the new ones. They come from the Vatican and from a, a uh, counterfeit Greek text. But um, get a King James Bible and read it. John and Romans are a good place to start. The book of John, the book of Romans. You can start at Genesis and things and go the whole way through to Revelation if you want to, but uh, John and Romans are a really good place to get started in the Bible. So try not to get the sun to blind you here in a minute when it comes over the trees. But um, salvation is there. Uh, you can be saved. You can understand what's going on. You can have God protect you. Again, uh, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 1, you could read it if you get a King James Bible, that the invisible things, about the invisible things from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. You can come out here and you can look at all this and say, there isn't any way that this is all just a you know, random chance and, and an accident that happened billions of years ago and it, everything blew up and, you know, uh, everything was made by a random accident where nothing came together and blew up and created everything. No. And see, if you look and you see the creation, there's a creator, what did he write? Um, and, you know, you read through the Bible, oh, it's filled with contradictions. No, it's not. No, it isn't. You have to have somebody teach you where those contradictions are. You aren't going to read through the Bible and see contradictions unless you have some professor trying to mess your head up. Um, and when you see the contradictions and you actually study them, you say, no, it's not a contradiction. And again, you're, you have to remember that these are multiple accounts, people giving different accounts of what they've seen. And so if their details differ, well, that's a, just a common thing and whatever, but why do they differ? Two people can see the same event and come off with different conclusions about that event. So, but anyhow, just a nice little walk out here this morning. Get back into the sun. Oh, this is nice. So, I get my little breakfast here this morning. That's a wild strawberry right there. So, I already prayed and thanked the Lord for any wild strawberries we'd be eating this morning. There's a bunch down in here. So, all right, well, I'm going to have my breakfast now. A little wild edible in there. Really tastes good. They're excellent little strawberries. Uh, they're not really very big. Again, the uh, strawberries you get in the store, just go off on another little subject here. They are actually hybridized from these wild ones. So the actual, real true, um, original strawberry was just a little tiny berry like that. And you can hybridize it and whatever else, make it big. But, um, so, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, make sure you subscribe and all that other stuff. Hit the like button and everything else there. Um, again, I'm not monetized, so... You know, I don't make money off of these videos. Uh, we exist, King James Video Ministries exists off of the gifts of God's people that if the Lord places it on your heart and say, you know what, I've been blessed by these studies, then you can give a gift to the ministry. If not, well, then give it to somebody else. Um, that's just kind of how that works. So, but, all right. I guess that's all I'm going to say for now, but just I can't believe that this 10 years of war thing, you know, and it's the Democrats, you know, you want to go with the whole narrative. Republicans are the war hawks. Republicans want to kill people and white nationalists and whatever, yeah, but it's the liberal Democrat president that just signed a deal for 10 years of war. So that will be it. And um, a number of studies that I'm working on right now, of course, and um, so I'm going to get to the office and start working on those. Thank you very much for watching.